What do vacuum bags and car seats have to do with each other? A lot, actually. Vacuum bags work because lots of our clothes, jackets, and bedding trap huge amounts of air as a way of keeping us warm. But this air also makes them take up lots of space. With the force of a vacuum sucking out all the air, these clothes and bedding are now a third of their original size or less. Many parents put their kids in snowsuits and puffy coats in the car seat, not realizing that when you tighten the harness straps, you cannot compress much of the air in these puffy clothes. But crash forces are extreme, they're much more powerful than a vacuum, as they can crumple the steel of the car, and they will force all the air out of the clothes. With the puff gone, the straps are way too loose for the child's body, often four inches or more too loose. Here's why you should care about straps that are four inches too loose. This is a crash test with two identical forward-facing car seats. Both car seats are installed tightly with a lower anchor strap and tether strap. Identical three-year-old crash test dummies are strapped into each seat. But while one dummy's harness straps are properly snug, the other dummy can lean forward because there's four inches of slack the same amount of slack many winter coats and snowsuits add. This is a still shot during the real crash test. The green line is how far forward the head moves when the straps are properly snug. The loose dummy had four inches of slack in his harness, and his head moved four inches farther forward than the snug dummy's head. But this picture doesn't tell the full story, because in a real car, there'd be a seat in front of the child, and when we put that in, it's easy to see why four inches is really dangerous. Kids in real crashes frequently get head injuries from hitting their heads on hard parts of the car, like the back of the front seat, door frame, and window, as you can see what happened here. The loose dummy's head goes farther forward and lower than the snug dummy's head, making it more likely to hit what is often the unpadded, hard plastic lower part of the front seat, further increasing the risk of brain and spine injury. A rear-facing child is also at greater risk of head injury with loose straps, as they will slide farther up the car seat and be more likely to hit their head on the back of the front seat or other hard structures. All kids can even be ejected from their car seat when the loose straps slide off their shoulders. To make sure kids of all ages are safe and warm in the car seat in winter, first, make sure they are layered properly in several thin, tight layers under the straps nothing fluffy or puffy. Then, after the child is buckled, use blankets or the child's jacket on backwards over the straps to keep the child warm until the car warms up. For forward-facing kids, always use the tether strap. It does not matter if you are using the seatbelt or the lower anchor strap to install the car seat. Always use the tether strap in addition on every single forward-facing car seat and make sure to pull the tether strap tight. By securing the top of the car seat to a special anchor in the back of the vehicle, tether straps decrease how far a forward-facing child's head moves by at least four inches, and you already know the importance of four inches.